Arabic is one of the most widely spoken languages in the world, used daily by more than 1.5 billion people. World Arabic Language Day is celebrated every year on December 18 since 2012. This year's commemoration coincides with the 50th anniversary of the proclamation of Arabic as one of the six United Nations official languages. This year's theme is Arabic, the language of poetry and arts. Apart from indigenous Shua Arabs in Nigeria whose official language is Arabic, many Nigerians speak Arabic as a second or third language by way of Islam. Arab, Arab uh, poets surely comprise of many things that are bringing peace. Even Nigerian poetry that are written in Arabic, you find it going towards how you can have peace and live together with others and how to respect others in other languages. Sheikh Isa Friday Okonko and Dr. Aisha Suleiman Mohammed shared their insights on the benefits of the Arabic language. Isa alayhi salam was sent as a physician. Moses was sent as a magician because of what was found among his people. When Rasul Sassan was to be sent to the Arabs, he was sent as a, a poet because the language itself is full of poetry. I schooled in Egypt, so Arabic was sort of a third language for me. So it gave me a sense of social skills with the people of Egypt. So not just a language again. I think learning languages gives you an insight into their cultural, political, and even social beliefs. And then with that, you find common grounds, and which could all in long run contribute to lasting peace that we are talking about. On World Arabic Language Day, UNESCO is encouraging everyone to celebrate not only a language but also a culture and more broadly emphasizing how diverse perspectives are invaluable treasure for lasting peace. In Abuja, Tokwe Alabi, NTA News.